The crowds are lining up to get a glimpse of one of the biggest stars in the world, Russell Crowe. And I'm down here on the red carpet waiting for him to arrive for a little chat about his directorial debut, The Water Diviner. This is that ice cold Michelle fight for that white gold. This one for them hood girls, them good girls, straight masterpieces. I read things in this script that uh, surprised me and things that I hadn't really thought about. You know, you, you grow up in Australia and New Zealand with the stories of, of Gallipoli tattooed on the inside of your eyelids, you know. So you sort of think you know what it's about. And then suddenly I was faced with a situation where, you know, I was on one hand really excited by what I was reading, but on the other hand I was fundamentally embarrassed because I realised that no matter how many times I'd been to dawn services or thought about people who'd sacrificed for our freedom in that battle, I'd never thought about it from the point of view of the other men. You know, from the soldiers that we were fighting. You see, we sent an expeditionary force of volunteers to the other side of the world to be involved in that battle. But the people of Turkey, they were stripping their high schools and sending kids to the battlefield because they're running out of men. It's a different experience to be invaded, you know. And I think it's, a, it was, it's time, you know, coming up to the 100th anniversary, to recognise what that really was, you know. That doesn't change the the depth of respect that you have for the people that sacrifice, but it actually brings or opens up your heart a little bit further to take in those who sacrifice for the other side. And what was the main challenge being both in front of camera and behind camera while filming? Well, you know, it's, that's an all-encompassing job, you know. Either of those jobs is difficult enough. But, you know, I think just a combination of my experience the years on film sets, you know, I started working in front of a camera when I was six years old. You know, and then uh, I've been making lead, doing lead roles in feature films for 25 years. So you accumulate a sort of a tertiary level of experience where you've been in all these situations before. You've been part of the problem solving, you know, in, in, on other people's sets. And so you, you recognize moments as they come up and you just know how to move forward, you know. But I also know, essentially, that film is a relentless ask, you know and you must meet that relentless ask with an equally relentless energy. That's the only way it gets done. And finally, why Dublin for a premiere? Oh, because they asked. And I was like, Yahoo, no problem, let's do and do that. You know? Ryan, thanks so much. Cheers, love. Wow, and just like that, it's all over. If you didn't manage to get your hands on tickets to the Water Diviner tonight, don't worry, because it hits cinemas on April 3rd.